Okay, here we are, getting ready to set up our rail bike for a, uh, another test run down in South Jersey. That's us uh, getting ready to put our rail bike together. Uh, it has to uh, come apart into several pieces so that we can move it to the tracks. As usual, uh, a couple of curious bystanders noticed what we were doing and came over to assist. It can be a little hard to put the device together. This uh, shows the rear wheels and an injury sustained during the assembly process. As you can see, the rail bike rides right on the right-hand side of a pair of railroad tracks. There's a, a pair of rear wheels that keep the back tire from sliding on or off the track in case your track has any uh, heavy banking, but usually flat tracks. Um, these wheels don't even uh, need to uh, touch the sides of the rail. As you can see there, the far side wheel isn't even turning because the tracks are graded quite well. Here's the front guide, which holds the rail bike right onto the tracks. It's made out of four wheels, a pair on each side of the top part of the track and then another pair that run right along the top of the track. Everything has to be lined up just right. If those side wheels are too high, the guide falls off the track. And if the side wheels are too low, they catch those heavy pieces of metal that join the sections of railroad track together, which brings you to a rapid stop. Here we go. Some of our curious onlookers are uh, giving us a little hand there, making sure we don't tip over. Climb aboard the bike. Make sure everything is lined up just right. And there we go. We're off. Starting off nice and gently at first, making sure that uh, we're not going to get surprised by something being out of alignment. And you can't steer. It's very difficult to balance. That's why we have that outrigger there. That keeps you from falling off to the left, and the weight of the outrigger keeps you from falling off to the right. That is if all goes according to plan. There we go. Pretty good clip there. Almost matching Amtrak speed as we head off down the rails. Here's a nice shot of us passing over the camera. You can see the whole undercarriage there. Now we've reached the end of the line with some additional assistance. We're going to turn our rail bike around. It's pretty heavy. The, uh, it's a steel frame bike there, and uh, the 2x4 for the outrigger and the various other things that we've added on make it a little, uh, little tough to pick it up and turn it around. It's got to be lined up again. And there we go, taking off heading back down the line, ticking over the rails there. Being very careful, we don't want to have any any problems. The rail guide in the front of the bike can be dislodged by uh, bushes or debris on the tracks. One thing about riding on abandoned tracks, they're not particularly well maintained because after all, they are abandoned. So uh, a brush like this can knock the guide off the track. And once that guide comes off the track, it's not long before the rail bike falls off the track. And then the rail biker falls off the rail bike. The tracks are not very pleasant to land on between the hard wood, sharp metal, rusty rails. There's, there's pretty much nothing pleasant there, but here we are. We're cutting through pretty good. We're pretty proud of ourselves until... Yikes, bad spot! Bit of a nerve-wracking yeah. experience there. <laughs> well, there's some wildlife on the tracks. You always have to be careful of that. There's some elderly observers keeping track of uh, how we're doing here, watching our progress as we cut through. And we're pretty confident that things are going well until <laughs> I shouldn't have said no derailment had a derailment but we're not gonna let that stop us we're getting back on the tracks you fall off your rail bike you got to get right back on there's a nice clear flat stretch of track as we proceed down back to our uh, our starting point almost like an acela making good time there now here's us as we uh, we need to disassemble the rail bike to uh, take it back to the shop to uh, fix any problems that might have developed, repair any uh, design flaws of which there are many. We're uh, taking it apart into its components and loading it up. Well, thanks for watching. We appreciate it.